From 1989, Hitcher in the Dark was directed by Umberto Lenzi. I really like Umberto Lenzi and I was curious what he was going to do with this movie. And even though it's called Hitcher in the Dark, sometimes referred to as The Hitcher 2, because you know the Italians love to steal sequels out of nowhere, this movie is 95% set in the daylight. Bright sunlight, yet it's still called Hitcher in the Dark. And this is all about a character called Mark who loves to wear his Ray-Bans and just look particularly menacing. He travels about in this uh, recreational vehicle, this big RV, picking up hitchhikers, drugging them and brutally murdering them, taking lots of Polaroids for his collage that he's building up. And he uh, stumbles across this young woman, Daniela, who he really particularly likes and discovers that she has a really strong resemblance to his mother. And because of that, he doesn't just kill her straight away. There is lots of psychological games played with this character where he is really torturing her by giving her the hope of freedom and snatching it away, by making her look more and more like her mother, by making her do things that she is hopefully going to get freed by doing um, and, and drugging her often <laughs> uh, to do some other nefarious things as well. And you get a kind of side story in this one as her boyfriend is trying to hunt her down. And I definitely had the idea that eventually the boyfriend was going to stumble across the, the RV, have a fight with Mark, save the day, and it doesn't go that way at all. It offered a complete curveball with that storyline, and I really appreciated that fact. You know, the, the kind of torturous game that we played here um, was really kind of twisted, but almost fun as well. And Umberto Lenzi in the director's chair really plays with us, the, the viewer, quite a lot. There are many really tense moments where you feel as if Mark and his serial killer ambitions are going to be thwarted under some uh, form of discovery. And it really builds that tension and you feel almost worried that he's going to get caught, but you ultimately know he's the bad guy and you don't like him, but there's some kind of magic there that makes you worried about him being caught in the act. And that's what offers a great deal of surprise within this movie. It kept taking me down avenues I didn't think it was going to go and surprising me by making me feel more about Mark than I really did because ultimately he's not a very nice character yet sometimes I kind of urged him on to succeed in certain moments. The end of the movie, the right end of the movie was a little bit of a letdown. I thought they were going to go in a certain route and I felt that um, it was a bold route to take by, by leaving it the way it was going to leave it and ultimately they shoehorn in uh, this kind of uh, happy ever after ending that just felt tacked on and odd. It had some of the worst acting in the movie in that moment and it just felt kind of wrong for the movie we were watching. I kind of like Hitcher in the Dark, even though it's not in the dark. I, I like the idea of this young man in an RV picking up hitchhikers and just decimating them um, and, and just moving on from place to place, always in the move, always picking up various different people. Uh, his compulsion as well was really quite interesting. I think the performances were a little bit stilted within the movie and not quite great. There is uh, certain moments where the movie kind of meanders where it's not really too sure until it finds its footing and, and thrusts on yet again. I loved some of the tense, suspenseful sequences in it and where the movie kind of went at certain points. I just wish it had finished a few moments earlier um, because I just felt it was a bit uh, in, uh, more interesting that way. I would love to know your thoughts on Hitcher in the Daylight. Uh, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.